Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk about standing up for yourself, creating boundaries and, and the idea of almost wanting to be not liked. Because in this world people are not manifesting what they really want in their heart. And for example, like if you're owed money and you're not receiving your money from other people, often people don't like express themselves and ask for their money back, which is a sign of self-worth and self-respect. Um, when we don't express ourselves what we truly desire and truly feel and truly want in life in any area, we feel bad. And it's in relationships or it's in everything and anything with your parents. Like Ram Das would say, if you want to see how enlightened you truly are, go and spend a few weeks with your parents. And I know people who my friends or family or friends, and I've experienced it myself, you go back home, you spend time with your parents again, you live with them under their roof. And it's challenging because there's so many dynamics, psychological dynamics, where they think they're above you or better than you or have more rights. And in some like physical ways they do, it's their house. But as a general thing, there's like people are equal. So wanting and you know Osho, Osho a very controversial spiritual teacher, a very wise man in my opinion, he'd say the biggest fear in the world is the fear of other people's opinions and the moment you overcome this you become like a lion you roar or soar like a lion and it's very true because we're all like people's pleasers we've come from a society it's more prevalent than women we were like yes yes we're yes people yes 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 you don't want to say no and be stand up and to be disliked so like i think it's very important to to be okay with being not liked with people don't be always seeking approval learn to be disapproved by it, your parents, society, the media, the, whatever, the community, some other people like who you happen to meet or anyone, the group you're in. Don't be a yes man or a yes woman just saying yes all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Like subservient. Like stand up, speak up, express yourself. You can be loving and kind and caring. You don't have to be too mushy or like wishy-washy. You don't have to be too gentle, but you can be nice, of course. You don't have to be mean to express yourself. If someone is doing something unjust or un or unintegral or unconscious or uncaring or uncareful, like let's say unconscientious, like not thinking about you and just doing reckless stuff like listening to loads of music at night time or listening to like waking up in the morning or not paying your money back or doing something that's not nice in some way or taking advantage of somebody or, or you speak up for yourself stand up for yourself um, exp express your self love for yourself and self respect and dignity and you don't have to judge or put, out, put down anybody but you can be direct and you can be clear and you can set up like how you want to be treated and be clear like don't say what you don't want for example I don't want you to spend forever to to give me to do this thing you said you do for me i don't want you like don't say what you don't want say what you do want precisely so say i want you to do the dishes before 2 p.m i want you to sweep the floor in the next like 15 minutes like i would like you you don't have to like it's not like you're the governor or you're like the dictator you can have be flexible but but just be clear what you want what you would prefer as a number one preference if you don't get your number one preference, try and get the second preference or the third preference. So it's not like you're going to become really mean or start giving out or like attacking people who don't do what you want. You're not like the governor. But at the same time, you're giving them the clear opportunity to understand you, a connection, yeah? A mental and like connection of understanding and emotional understanding too. And you can say, I love you. When can you, instead of, if someone says, oh, I'll pay you back your money soon. Well, you can say, well, when can you pay me back the money exactly? Like, well, be, what time, what date or day can you pay me back? I'd like you maybe, if you can, I'd like it before this. Or can you like set up a payment plan like this amount every week? Instead of like leaving it like really unclear and like too, too foggy or airy fairy. So in life to manifest, you have to be clear. You have to be direct. You have to. And you'll manifest ten times better if you care for other people too and you like express from the heart at the same time. So with a degree of flexibility based on care for other people and the fact that life is always challenging for everybody and people are struggling. So not to be too mean or strict, but also to be clear and direct. Because you don't want to always care for other people, but then don't care for yourself. That's what most a lot of women stereotypically do and people's pleasers are caregivers or enablers. You enable people to still be like children or babies. Um, undeveloped and unmatured which is beautiful to allow people to mature but when you keep enabling people and allowing them to act like 
immaturely or, or unconsciously or negatively, then they're always going to stay in that habit because you're allowing them and, and promoting them to stay in that bad habit. So by being direct and clear, like I'm saying, you then give others the opportunity to learn from you because in, like what I say a little bit is like we're all like children teaching. We're all like teaching. We're all like teaching. Others are like children who we're teaching to become more mature and developed and we are the exact same way so we're not better so we we have our areas of non-development and immaturity and blockage and fogginess where we don't see something like we have like you know a black spot where we don't see something about our behavior so it's really lovely if someone can help to teach us to become better in life by this type of direct communication and then we can get ideas from them if they do this to us so if we do this this idea to them like i'm saying like if someone owes you money for example and they're all you're saying to them oh well whenever you have the money or they're saying oh well, soon nothing will ever happen but if you give clear like directions like time day date etc they can get this really good idea from you and if they ever borrow anybody money for example this is being an example then they can get their money back and feel good that they're taking action because too often we don't we just keep our mouth closed and then we feel bad that we're not getting our money back or we're not getting what we want from our partner or parents or friends or work so it's all about instead of complaining about other people we should look and look at ourselves like what are we doing that's like making the situation not the way we want or best for everybody so it's usually our own inexpression like absence of expression and and also not knowing how to express ourselves like very good so it's not only the absence of expression but expressing ourselves badly which also makes situations worse and arguments to happen and to, to last so it's all about like knowledge clarity wisdom and and a heart and then we mix everything together like like in a pot stirring and then what's le what's made then is a lovely concoction or soup or juice of wisdom that works to manifest f good for everybody so no one loses and everybody wins so that's that's probably the message for today so to learn to be disliked to stand out but really it's not about really being disliked but letting go of the fear of being disliked that's what we want to get rid of and doing what i said there everyone wins so i guess that's all i really want to say so um anything else um caregiving, enabling, promoting other people to grow instead of to remain immature and undeveloped, uh, letting go of the fear of being disliked, standing up for yourself with self-love and self-respect and self-care. Yeah, so include yourself, don't exclude yourself. Care for everyone and care for yourself properly. And then you do it with your heart and everybody wins. So if anyone's interested in life coaching or people like relationship or communication or health coaching with me, or, or other vi suggested videos on this topic, have a look below on the link and contact me on ownfox.org, connect with me on Facebook, or check out my herbs, superfoods, enzymes, and essential oil shop on higherselfherbs.com below. Thanks for your time. I hope you have a beautiful day and week, and thanks for the lovely camera lady who's recording patiently and caring so for her energy also. And uh, lots of love to you and your family, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for liking. Appreciate that. Hope this video has been mentally stimulating and emotionally rewarding and fun.